Hi friends, Kaylee here. Welcome back to my channel. I've been playing a lot of indie games recently, so next up is The Hospital. No idea what it has in store for us, but I personally am a big fan of hospitals. Both of my parents work in uh, healthcare, and so I kind of find them comforting. It'll be interesting to see them in a scary aspect. <laughs> we'll see. Let's go. Best experience with headphones. I can hear that. <laughs> Oh no, I'm Rick Grimes. I'm waking up. When the virus got me, I was hoping it would be among the majority who only got mild symptoms and recovered quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. Am I on a ventilator? I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country, as the wreaks havoc. Are we still not allowed to say that word on YouTube? I don't really know, but... Interesting. It's pandemonium out here. So many sick, so many dying, I feel like I've become a number statistic. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die, alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or in heaven, or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. Can barely breathe. Oh, how awful would that be? Just be there with your thoughts and a... Oof. Am I gonna be Rick Grimes? Am I gonna wake up in the apocalypse? I'm... I'm standing up. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm up? <laughs> How am I up on my feet? I don't know. I can't remember getting out of bed. Me neither. All right. Chairs. Chairs for visitors. Except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. They, they misspelled quarantine. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. I'm just pointing it out. Just a, just a typo. All good here. Hospital bed. <laughs> he does not like the bed. That was an ominous as hell noise. My bed, it looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off? Who came in and made it? I don't know. Maybe you made it. I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Well, I mean, don't, you know. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> Don't be mad about it. <laughs> or maybe we died and that's why it's all uh, nice and uh, nice and neat. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping, the hissing of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose you don't know. All the machines whose purpose is to keep you alive. <laughs> the bathroom door appears to be locked. From the inside? Okay, let's leave then. That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. Sure. Oh dear. This reminds me of like the, <laughs> where is everybody? When I checked in here, those quarters were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Now we're don't dead open inside. <laughs> this reminds me of the jump scare in The Exorcist 3. Is it The Exorcist 3? That's like the perfect jump scare that just goes on for like, the setup is like five minutes long. Oh, perfect. Locked, that's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Probably. Ooh. Can't get in there. 
Everything's locked. Can I get out? Sealed, just like the others. Am I just stuck in like this one little area? Hello. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there are two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. That's true. Nurses do. They're superheroes. Ooh, can I look at this map? I feel like the person that made this has experience with hospitals. <laughs> No luck. Didn't these doors open out to the lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can't leave this way. Should probably find another way. Nurse! Nurse! Help! I need help! Nurse! Nurse Julie! Nurse Ratchet! Ooh, it's open. Thank you. Can I believe? This looks very familiar. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone—a nurse, a doctor—who can help me and tell me what's going on. They're all gone, sir. Everybody gone. Everybody gone. This is another sort of PT style. What? Sounds on the other side of this door? Who's that way? Hello? This room looks like just the one I was in. But it's a mess. <laughs> Sir, it's a hospital. Most of the rooms look exactly the same. <laughs> Are you hiding in the bathroom? No. There's some... Ew! That's awful! There's some kind of stain! I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. <laughs> Don't crawl the TV! Don't crawl the TV! That figure... The sound came from out there! Ugh, that's nasty. That's nasty! figure I saw on the TV it reminded me of... No, it can't be. It must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. Who does she remind you of? She reminds me of the girl from the ring. <laughs> Looks like I'm supposed to go that way. Okay. I think that's where I was on my way to before. Ooh, these flickering lights. I don't like it. I don't like it. They really do make... Ooh, this is different. This is different. Well-lit hallway. Feeling a little braver. Ah! Oh, lady. Why am I following you? She's clearly not a doctor or a nurse. She's clearly up to no good. Who do I remind... Who do, who do you remind me of? It's either the girl from the ring or the grudge. That scared me. It's locked. No, there's a person in there. Who shut the door? What's that, a corpse? If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. I want to see that corpse. Let me in, corpse. I was intrigued by that room. I'm sad that they shut the door in my face. Is someone toying with me? It seems like that. Am I being led? Absolutely. That figure I saw. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? I don't know, but the figure that we saw on the TV and that blonde chick that's walking around <laughs> cannot be the same person. Yeah. Okay. Uh. The hell? What? How? How 
did I get here? I recognize this place, you do. The furniture and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. I was about to say, this looks like the apartment you used to live in? That's terrible. <laughs> There's something on the table there. Hello? Ah! Hi! It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I'd know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years! Nia, is that you? This isn't real, I'm dreaming. Um, let's be nice to the ghost. Is that you? That familiar silence. <laughs> She's always just... She's always giving me the silent treatment, apparently. <laughs> this is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. Uh-oh. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life had I done things differently and at what cost? I couldn't have saved you, Nia. I'm sorry for what happened. Again, we're gonna be nice to the, the creepy ghost lady. I'm sorry for what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was my fault, but I'm very sorry. Only cold silence. What does she want? Nia? <laughs> See? I'm on the same wavelength as this dude. Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? Nia? Nia? We're not in the hospital anymore. We're not in the hospital anymore. I was supposed to go and get something on the table. Yeah, this is a mess. Also, this is what your apartment looked like. It had these awful ceiling tiles. I remember this picture. We had it taken out by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic violence shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, and obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. The music in this game. Damn. Okay. I see you, game. I see you. Then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched and a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand... Oh! Ooh, guys, that was a big thunder. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That was thunder. I guess I'll make it. All right. Ugh. What is this place? Yeah, no kidding. Well, this is back at the hospital. Ew, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a chair. <laughs> I thought it was a spider or something. It was really close down. Nia? Ooh, a corpse. Is it me? Is it mine? Hello? Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is terrible. I should move on. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why they would leave it in the middle of the hallway, but the hospital's in a, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty normal place, typical place to find a corpse. Doesn't budge. Great. Let's go back towards the corpse. She's doing this, I don't know how. She's toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. Okay. Oh good, the door's open now. That was, that was creepy. That was a creepy sound. Ooh, corpses everywhere. Hello, hello corpses. I'm not afraid of no corpse. When it does that, what was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, everyone's got different.
different issues. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All of you stay dead. Don't don't think about getting up and trying to walk around or anything. Okay, nothing too bad in here. I like her skirt a lot. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her until the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later I got that terrible call. Oof. Oh boy. So I guess this is maybe the mental hospital? Well, it could be a regular hospital too, but maybe it was the mental hospital? <laughs> Oh dear! Nia? Oh god. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me that you wrote what you wrote on the note. Your last words. <laughs> what do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Nia? What do you want from me? I think of that note you left, the last words you ever wrote. Oh god. <laughs> Don't come any closer! You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I wasn't going anywhere! <laughs> I was staying right here! I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive. Please don't come any closer to me. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's not over? I thought that was it. <laughs> I'm back in my room. Great. How did I get here? Nia? Oh god. I am back in my room. The bathroom door is still locked. Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead and this is my afterlife? These dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity. Hello? Oh, oh, it's an ambiguous ending. I have a feeling that um, he's probably going to be stalked in purgatory for the rest of forever. <laughs> All right, solid, solid, very solid. I enjoyed that. Great atmosphere. It has that sort of PT thing going for it, where it's sort of like the same thing over and over again, and just the little changes make you sort of stay on your toes. But very creepy. But yeah, enjoyed it. I hope that you guys did too. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever it is you would do to support a small growing channel. And as always, I will see you on the next one, and happy gaming.